you say to a college rowing team that claims they're more powerful than a ski boat? Or how about a couple of fishermen that brag to us that they can pull in an eight-ton fish? What do you say to these and other extraordinary events? Betcha, betcha, betcha! Betcha! From Hollywood, here's the star of Betcha, Marjo Gordon! Welcome to Betcher, a brand new television event where we all have the opportunity to meet people who will attempt to thrill us with some extraordinary talent. And to spice up each of these events, we have our three players playing the odds, placing their bets on the outcome of each event today. Now, along with you at home, they'll be saying, I bet you they can, or I bet you they can't. But before we get started, I want you to say hello to a very special person. She's Miss California 1988 and our hostess, Marlise Ricardos. Welcome to Betcha. Thank you. Now let's find out who our players are over here. Hello, Karen. How are you? Good. Hi, Gary. Good to see you. Good to see you. Chris, good luck. Thank you. Okay, are you all ready to play? Yeah. All right. Now, the player who bets their money wisely and traps the big odds, ends up with the most money at the end of the show, will be our grand prize winner. Now remember, everyone gets to keep the cash remaining in their bank. And don't forget your betting strategy. Now, Dean, tell us what our grand prize winner will receive. I'll bet you our grand prize winner will get travel happy with this. It's a four-piece max set of stylish luggage by Ricardo of Beverly Hills. And you'll have to find room in your tote bag for this handy and portable RCA video camera and plenty of videotape. And you're going to need it all when we fly you and a guest round trip on an all-expense-paid seven-day vacation to one of the glamour spots of the world, spectacular Monte Carlo. There, you'll be staying at the luxurious Lowe's Monte Carlo, and you'll experience all the fun and games of this royal resort. Then, when you return, you can relive it all on your very own giant screen television set. All yours from Betcha. This prize package is worth $6,400. Okay, players, before you meet the first Betcha performer, the one that you'll be betting on, let's get you some money to bet with. There we go, $100 each. And to make your bets more exciting, you need some odds. Marlies, start the odds maker. Okay, here we go. All right, Carrot, grab yourself some odds. Come on, big odds, big odds. Go for it, go for it. There you go, four to one for Carrot. All right. Okay, Gary, grab yourself some odds. Okay, we need five to one, big odds. Come on, Gary. Hey, yeah, you got it. That's what you call for. Oh, all, right. Right. That's good. all right. Now, Chris, drop yourself some odds. Okay, five to one, five to one, and... And you also got five to one. Oh, right. right. that's very good. All right, let's find out who or what it is you'll be placing those all-important bets on. Dean, who do we have? He's originally from Kobe, Japan. He likes school and television. Say hello to graduate student Ray Yabuki. Hey, hello, Ray. Hey. Nice to meet you. Welcome to Betcha. College student, listen, one thing I notice in particular on here, it says that you have no hobbies. Well, I just want to concentrate on my study. Just want to concentrate on your study, huh? Right. Well, you came to us with your bet because you like to play with figures. That's right. Now, you say that you can do all the work of a computer or a calculator in your head, right? Mm hmm Well, come with me and take a look at our figures. Right. Come right back over here. Look at that, Ray. Oh, oh look at that. Oh, yes. Yeah. All right, Ray, now here's your bet. You say you're able to do all mathematics mentally. Now, as you walk down the line of our show people over here, the four gorgeous ladies and our bodybuilder will verbally be giving you a series of vital statistics. Now, at the end, I'm going to give you a number to divide by, and you'll have to do all the arithmetic in your head and come up with the correct answer at the end. Okay. And we'll be back with all your bets and our math whiz right after this commercial break. Take a look at that, Ray. Players, do you think that our young math whiz can keep his mind on his own figures? I want you to lock in your bets now. Karen, we're going to start with you. How do you bet? I'll bet you all 100. All $100. All right, Karen. And Gary, how do you bet? I'll bet you 50. 50? You're going to keep back 50, huh, Gary? You got five to one odds up there. All right, Trish, how do you bet? 
I bet you a hundred dollars. You're going to go all the way through with a hundred dollars if they can or can't. How do we go, guys? I see, Gary, you're the only one that doesn't believe. You think he can't do it, huh? I don't think all he right. can. All right. The bets are all in. Ray, are you ready? Mm-hmm. Now, audience, you can follow the addition on your screen and remember that Ray cannot see any of the monitors. Ready, Ray? Yes, I'm ready. All right, let's begin. Okay. Hello, Ray. I'm Marion. I'm 37, 23, 35. I'm 122 pounds, and I was born in the year 1965. Hi, I'm Susie. My measurements are 34, 22, 34. I weigh 130 pounds, and I live at 63 Sunny Slope Drive. Okay. My name is Brett. My chest is 50 inches. My waist is 32 inches. My calves are 18. I weigh 227 pounds, and I'm 72 inches tall. All right. Hi, Ray. Hi. My name is Kim, and I'm a 38, 22, 34. I weigh 125 pounds, mm -hmm. and I'm 29 years old. Hi, Ray. I'm Heidi. Um, my measurements are 38, 24, 36. I weigh 130 pounds, and I was born in the year 1,964. Okay. All right, Ray, step over here. Do mm -hmm. you have all that? Yes. All right, I want you to do one more thing for me. Mm -hmm. Take and divide it by four. Okay. You have the answer? Mm hmm What is it? 1326. And you're right. It is 1326. Ray, you did it. Let's pay off the players over here. All right. Chris, it looks like it might be you. You had five to one odds, Chris. And you bet all $100 that Ray could do it, and he did do it. That gives you $500 in the bank. All right. All right, Karen, you did pretty good, too. You had four to one odds, and you bet $100. So that means that you have... $400. All right, very good. Gary, you lost your bet on that one, old buddy, but you still got $50 left in the bank. All right, Ray, you did exactly what you said you could do, so you get the bet your award of $1,000. Thank you. I want to thank our bodybuilder and these four gorgeous ladies. Thank you for coming. You guys look fantastic. Hey, follow me, guys, right down here. I want to show you something. I bet you're wondering what I'm going to be doing here. Well, we're going to get all these tennis balls out. There they go. Get them out. Now, it's all going to become very clear what I just did when you meet our next guest. But first, players, I want to get you some money to play with. All right, there we go. Marley, start that odds wheel. Okay, here we go. And Gary, we'll start with you. Trap some odds. Okay, get them five to one. Beat us. Oh, there all you right. go, Gary. You got four to one odds. Now, Chris, trap yourself some odds. Oh, Chris, very good. You got five to one odds. All right, Karen, grab yourself some odds. All right, now five to one again. There you go. You got two to one. Oh, all right. Now for the bet. Let's meet our next performer. Dean, who do we have? She's a native Californian. He's from Latrobe, Pennsylvania. Tennis is their game. Please welcome Regina Enzer hey. and Jim Curtis. Hey, guys, how are you? Good how are you, Regina? All right. This, you're a full-time nanny? Yes, I am. And you manage a health club? Yes, I do. Now, Regina and Jim, you're not really here, though, to play tennis, are you? No. no. Now, this bet has a lot to do with the fact that both of you have photographic memories, right? Mm, that's, that's right. right. Mm -hmm. Now, there are three other balls just like this one, which are identical to the 100 that you just saw me throw out on the court, except that they have a B for betcha so that we can recognize them. There it is right there. Now, we're going to place them at random among the balls that I've just thrown out. Now here's the bet. Can Jim and Regina find all four without disturbing any of the others that I just threw out on the court, all in 45 seconds or less? I want you to study the balls out there in the court now. All right, players, we're going to start with Gary. You've got well, four to one odds. I'm coming from behind. I'll bet you hundred dollars. One hundred dollars. You're going to go all the way. All right, Chris. How about you? Okay, I bet you eighty dollars. Eighty dollars with Chris. All right, you're going to hold back a little bit, huh? Okay, Karen, how do you go? I'll bet you $80. $80. All right. That they can, can't, or can't. Let's see how you guys went. Oh, we have two people, Karen and Gary. You don't think they can do it. You don't believe they have photographic memories. <laughs> uh huh. But Trish, you believe that they can do it. All right, Jim and Regina, I want you guys to turn around. Okay. Now, Marlies, place the balls out on the court, please. All right, now, while Marlies is doing that, let me remind our audience out there not to shout out any directions. Now, remember, they must find all four within 45 seconds. She's almost finished. 
All right, Jim and Regina, are you guys ready? Ready. All right, my lease is finished. Turn around. Okay. And start the clock and begin. Okay. Good. Steady the side. Clock is ticking. We're at 40 seconds. You guys don't think they can do it, no. do you? All right. <laughs> Looking around, they're trying to find it. That's very confusing out there. They're going to have a conference. 28 yes, seconds. They still haven't found one yet. All right. I think they've spotted something. All right. Yes, they did. There's one of the Metro Malls okay. right there. 20 seconds are left, though. There's a lot more to find, guys. No, 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 we're down to ten out. seconds. How are we doing? Five seconds or left. Four, three, two. Are they going to do it? No! Good, but you know what? We've got some players that made some money over here. Let's see how they did. Gary, let's start with you. You did real good. You had four to one odds. You bet they couldn't do it. You bet $100. That gives you in the bank now a grand total of $450. All right. Not bad at all. All right, Karen. Oh, you also didn't think they could do it. You had two to one odds. You bet $80. That's going to give you a total of, whoa, $580. Oh, well, look at that. Trish. You lost your bet. You had five to one odds. You bet $80 that they could do it, and they didn't. That leaves you now with $520. That means, Karen, you're in the lead with $580. Yeah, yeah. And on your way to Monte Carlo. And Jim and Regina, you didn't do exactly what you said you could do. So we're going to give you the bet award of $250. And thank you so much uh, for thank coming. You. All, right. all right. We'll be back with all the betting action right after this commercial message. Yeah. We're back. Now let's get you guys another hundred dollars to bet with. <coughs> there we go. All right, Marlies, start the odds wheel. Okay, here we go. Trish, we'll start with you. Trap some odds. Okay, five to one again. I like it. There you go. Three to one for Trish. All right, Karen, let's go with you. Okay, come on, let's take some big odds. Those trick. There you go. All right. Yeah. Yeah. Trish. All right. Gary, you're next. Come on, big odds. Five to one. There we go. Okay, one, that's all right. All right. <laughs> Players, it's time to place your bets. So let's find out exactly who it is that you're going to be betting on. Dean, who do we have? Please welcome our Bet Your Location reporter, Casey Winkler. Hello, Hi, Casey. Good to see you. Thank you. You've been doing some pretty outrageous things out there, haven't you? Boy, I sure have. Yeah, well, I tell sure us have. about your bet. Okay. Well, this one was thought up by a great group of very athletic and very ambitious college students the California State University Long Beach rowing team. Now, they told our Betcha staff that they were as powerful as any ski boat. And they bet us that they could pull me from a dead stop in the water up on water skis. Let's take a look just at the beginning of the bet, okay? <laughs> Pretty good. <laughs> All right, players. Now, here's your actual bet. Can the rowing team get her up on skis and keep her up and skiing for a full 30 seconds? What's your bet? And how would you folks at home bet? All right, Trish, we're going to start with you. How much do you bet? Okay, I bet you 70. 70 dollars, all right. Karen, how do you bet? I'll bet you 90. You're going to go with 90. Just going to hold back 10, huh? All right, Gary, how do you bet? Well, I'm going to bet, uh, I'll bet you 100. You're going to go all the way with $100. And how are you guys going to bet that they can or can't do it? Oh, you think that they can? And Karen, you don't think they can keep her up in skiing. All right, let's find out if our rowing team can earn that $1,000 Betcha award. Betcha they can, betcha they can't.
You had those three to one odds that mm -hmm. they could do it, and you saw them. They really did do it. That was right. amazing, wasn't it? You, you bet $100. That gives you a total of $750 in the bank. All right. All right. <laughs> Well, not bad with you, Chris. You had three to one odds. You also bet 70 bucks that they could do it. Let's see how you stand with how much money in the bank right now. That gives you $760. I believe that might put you in the lead. Oh, let's see here what happened with Karen. You had five to one odds, and you lost your bet, and that gives you now remaining in the bank only $590. Karen, you lost your bet. Sorry about that. All right, KC, thank you very much for coming. Thank that you. was amazing what you did. And to the Cal State rolling team, you get the best award of $1,000 because you said you did what you could do. All right, now, in the lead here, let's see. Trish, it looks like you're in the lead on your way to Monte Carlo. And you've been doing some pretty shrewd betting here. Yes, you have. You could be the one that's going home with a very nice sum of money. And of course, that fabulous grand prize package including the trip to Monte Carlo, which is all worth $6,400. All right. Wait a minute, guys. Betting isn't over yet. We've got the big bet and our final event of the day that's coming up, and it's still anybody's game. Now, since this is the final wager, we're going to play it just a little bit differently. First, the $100 stake is added to the total amount in your bank. There you go. So you see, now that's all yours to bet with. Chris, you've got $860 in the bank. Gary, you've got $850 in the bank. And Karen, you're close in there. You've got $690. Now, to make things more exciting, I want you guys to take a look at the odds maker wheel. There you go. We've got two daily doubles. All right. Then to get the sporting butt in you cooking just a little bit more, we've added a 10 to 1. There it is right there. So you see, it's really up to you. All right, players, I want you to grab those odds. Marley, start the wheel. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Karen, we'll start with you. Well, let's see the 10 to 1. <laughs> there you go. You got it, Karen. Very good. 10 to 1. All right, Gary, start yourself some odds. Okay, we're looking for that daily double. Oh, oh 3 to 1 there for Gary. All right, Trish. Okay. There you go, Trish. You're out there in front. All right, 10 to 1. 10 to 1. You got the daily double. That's pretty good. 8 to 1 odds. Very good. All right. Now let's find out who or what it is that you'll be placing those all-important bets on. Dean, tell us all about it. He's a salesman from Denver, Colorado. He's in love with his fishing gear, and his partner customizes trucks. He's from Downey, California. Please welcome Cliff Salomon and Rich Willoughby. All right, Cliff and Rich. I see it's pretty obvious you guys must be deep-sea fishermen, right? That's I do fair. a bit of fly fishing myself, and you know, fishermen tend to tell a few stories now and then, you know. Uh-huh. Are you here to tell a story? No, not uh, at all. You mean to tell me that with these fishing rods here, with only 150-pound test lines, that you're going to hook this big fish out over here? That's right, guys. Look at that. It's an eight-and-a-quarter-ton tractor. <laughs> yeah, now you mean to tell us that you're going to move it from a dead stop 10 feet across the finish line in less than a minute? Give it our best. Now, what's the largest thing you guys have ever hooked, and how long did it take you? 300-pound blue marlin in less than 45 minutes. Uh-huh. All right, that's your final wager. Those two little fishing rods and that eight-and-a-quarter-ton rig, it's going to be a neutral. I want you to think about your final bets. They'll be secret, and we'll be back to play out all the drama right after this. recap what we have here. Trish, you're out there in the lead with $860. And Gary, you're right behind with $850. Right. Karen, you've got a little catching up to do. You've got $690. Now remember, this is where you may bet any part or all of what's in your banks. Now look at what we're going to do out here. We've got this big tractor truck. Ten feet, they've got to pull it in just 60 seconds with 150-pound test lines. All right, guys, I want you to lock in those secret bets. The bets are all locked in. All right, let's see if they can really land this big fish over here. You guys ready? Yep. All right, let's begin. A little bit long. Ooh. Ooh. 58, seven seconds. There we go. The clock is ticking. It's moving. They got the truck to move. It's moving. Jeez, I don't believe it. It's moving. There it goes. 
48 seconds. We got it going, guys. Come on, Bobo. What do you think about that, huh? All right, it's looking good. Full hard. Oh, it stopped. It's not moving again. It stopped. who our big winners are. Karen, we'll start with you since you had the least amount of money in the bank, but you had big odds there, 10 to 1 odds. How much money did you bet? You bet $500, all right. Now the question is, how did you bet it? That they could, or you bet they could do it. Great, that's gonna give you a lot of money in the bank. It's gonna come up that you have $5,190. Not bad, Karen. All right, Gary, now look at you. You have a little lower odds, three to one odds, but how much did you bet? You bet $700. Mm -hmm. Okay, Gary, and how did you go? Let's see how you bet. You also bet they could do it, and they did. That's going to give you a total in your bank of $2,250. All right. All right, Chris, let's see how you did, because you had some big odds there, eight to one odds. And you bet $400. Now, how did you bet, Trish? Oh, no, you lose your bet. But that means we have a grand prize winner right here of Karen with $5,100. Won. For winning the big bet, Karen, you'll be receiving the luggage, the video camera, the trip to Monte Carlo, and the big screen TV. All for a total in cash and prizes of $11,590. Oh, all right. Well, Gary and Chris, you're not really losers. Don't forget the money in your bank is yours to keep. And I'll bet you we had some fun today, right? Yep. Now, tomorrow night, you might want to place your bets on two locomotive engineers who say they can clamp an egg between their engines, or 93 school children who jump rope in unison for one full minute. Just more ordinary people attempting the unusual and extraordinary. Until then, this is Marjo Gortner saying, whatever it is you want to accomplish, I bet you you can! Karen, let's go. If you like this, make sure to subscribe to my channel for more and check out my Facebook page for other exciting content.